Motion backstage. We got a camera back there, and I believe, I believe that looks like LT Falk. Is that LT Falk down there on the ground? Apparently grounded somehow. LT Falk is down on the ground. We get camera backstage. Oh wait a minute! Hey, look at here. Wait just a minute. Here comes LT Falk into the ring. He got LT in. Oh, kendo oh, stick to the head. My goodness! Oh. With the kendo stick and he broke it. He broke that kendo stick right in half and gets a shot to every man in the oh. ring. And now it's down to him and Cliffhanger in the ring. He's finally got him one-on-one. -on -one. LT Falk beaten down on the back, but not taken out. It's going to take a lot more than that. Jason James and Aaron David coming at you once again. Another episode of NWA Cyber Slam right here on championshipwrestling.tv. And as per the uh, truck last week, we are going to have a championship tag team match tonight. The dream team, Gary Valiant and Eric Andrews in the house, going to be defending their newly won NWA Southern Tag Titles against AM Vision, who we saw return last week, and his tag team partner, Ashton Baton. Oh man, that's gonna be great. But if that wasn't enough, right here tonight, we've been waiting a long time. Everybody's been waiting a long time. Tonight we're gonna see it. NWA CyberSlam Championship on the line. Cliffhanger, the Black Diamond, taking on LT Fall. Well, we weren't able to get it to you last week, but we're going to have it for you tonight. Come heck or high water, those two will do battle for the Cyber Slam Championship. Get ready, because NWA Cyber Slam is on the air. Be Todd and AM Vision, the visions of beauty. Well, look, coming here, we've got the tag team of AM Vision and his tag partner, who we saw come to his aid last week. And I'm talking about Ashton Baton, and he's out here with a mirror and a fur coat. And had to wrestle the mirror away from the fans. Yeah, well, you know, the fans want to check themselves out too. AM Vision back in the house tonight at the Stadium Inn after issuing that challenge to Eric the Dragon Andrews last week. His partner, Ashton Vuitton, jumping Eric the Dragon Andrews last week. These two teamed up on him, put the boots on him, and now tonight we're going to see what becomes of all that. You know, AM Vision calls himself the Cardiovascular Massacre. The Cardiovascular Massacre. Just a side note, you might want to write it down. I don't think I will. <laughs> and making his way, making their way to the ring, they are the NWA Top Rope Southern Heavyweight Champions. They are the team of Eric Andrews and the Boogie Woogie Boy, Gary Valiant, and they are escorted to the ring by Miss Boogie. Well, NWA Southern Tag Titles on the line, and we've got the dream team out here, the team of the Boogie Woogie Boy, Gary Valiant, with his manager, Miss Boogie, and Eric the Dragon Andrews. Folks, I'm here in Nashville, and I'm standing with Charles, better known as Chicken Hat. And Charles, I got a question for you. What do you think about the tag team title match that you're about to see right here in Nashville? Well, it's very exciting. It's going to get even more thrilling. And judging from what I see, the girls like it too. Well, I want to have your predictions here, Charles. Who do you think will win? Do you think it'll be the newly added team of Ashton Vuitton and AM Vision making their return to Nashville? Or will it be the dream team, Gary Valiant and Eric the Dragon Andrews? Oh, it's no contest. It's definitely the dream team in my book. Well, there you hear it. You hear it from Charles himself. He's predicting the dream team. We'll see as we go to the ring for the action. And don't forget, 
Folks, we saw what happened on last week's show. LT Falk somehow grounded, not able to compete for the title. That match will take place on this episode. LT Falk against Cliffhanger for the CyberSlam Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, as exciting as this tag team championship is right here, don't forget that big main event coming up later on. NWA CyberSlam Championship on the line. Big backdrop right there. Aston Vuitton on his back, two count. Boogie Woogie Boy Gary Valiant locks him up and is taking control of the situation right here. Vuitton now, arm ringer applied onto him. Boogie Woogie Boy Gary Valiant looking as good as ever. Boy, this guy has really, really captivated the Nashville audience. There's no bigger person in Nashville right now than the Boogie Woogie Boy Gary Valiant and Eric Andrews, the Dream Team. No, definitely not. These guys are among the two most popular guys in the territory right now. I mean, NWA is glad to have them. The fans are glad to have them. Nice teamwork there. That's what I said. These two, two very different personalities, but oh, they wait match so well together. AM Vision in. I think he was going to try to get a sneak attack on his former nemesis, the Dragon, but that instinct as Eric the Dragon Andrews turned around very quickly and got him out of the ring. Well, it seems to me that AM Vision learned last time by going head-to-head -head with Eric the Dragon Andrews. He always came up with the short end of the stick. After loss, after loss, after loss, the guy's got to start thinking, what can I do to beat this guy? And pretty soon it's either work harder, train harder, or start taking shortcuts. I think it's real easy to see that AM Vision and his partner here aren't above taking shortcuts. Well, you can definitely tell there's a little bit of distraction here on the part of AM Vision and Eric Andrews. And now, no tag was made, but the Boogie Woogie Boy in. Eric the Dragon Andrews out, and maybe they're going to take this match a step ahead of pace and outsmarting the team of Vision and Vuitton. I don't know. The one thing they seem to have going for them now is the young guy, Aston Vuitton, taking a lot of the pressure. Boogie Woogie Boy stretching him out right here in the corner. Slap to the ribs. Another shot to the ribs. This is, I mean, look at this. This looks awful. How bad must this hurt? But what? he doesn't want to let go, or he's going to end up face planted on the oh. mat just like that. What a maneuver there from the boogie. Oh, no. And Baton in a place that he does not want to be right now. Oh, right there. He's going to definitely need the mirror later on to check on the damage. Oh, my goodness. That just painted a picture in my head that I did not want to see. Nonetheless, the tag made after Vision actually drug his partner to the corner. I don't know if that's legal. Finally, AM Vision getting in the ring. You know, Boogie He's Woogie looking Boogie. in the mirror. Oh, he yeah. Is, I think he's looking at the wrong part. Yeah, I think so, too. He's got some other parts that need to be checked on that. He's still smiling. He's still in there. I think you better get serious. He I mean, said, he's in there with the champs. He said, I still look good. He's worried about looking good here in a tag team competition for the tag titles. Yeah, and that's going to definitely show the inexperience of young Aston Vuitton. You know, he's trying to play to the crowd, trying to give himself a little advantage by having some kind of persona here. But really, the bottom line is the wrestling and what goes on, on the, in the ring. Look at Boogie Woogie Boy right now. Add an insult to injury with a noogie, a Roman Greco noogie. A Roman Greco noogie. The textbook noogie from Gary Valiant holds on to the headlock, brings it back in. Gary Valiant now with the side headlock applied. Vision once again shoots him off, but once again holds on to the ears of AM Vision and pulls the headlock back in. Earlock into a noogie, man. What kind of match is this? Technical wrestling at its finest. I wonder if he learned that in the Heart Dungeon. Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> I heard Stu was good at noogies, though. Yeah, but at any rate, these guys are having a good time. The fans are loving it. They're dominating. When a team is like this, and they've got the upper hand, and these guys got to be feeling good, the one guy's in the corner playing with the mirror. AM Vision's barely trying to get in the ring, getting out as soon as he can. And so these guys feel like they got the upper hand. Time to play around and have oh a little fun. Oh, my goodness, look at this. The what rope wrapped around the head of AM Vision, and, boy, that's got to be choking him. But he gets off, but Vision's still caught up in the ropes. Oh, well, you know, Eric the Dragon, Andrew's got a lot of built-up frustration from last week. That was really devastating. I don't think I've ever seen anybody do that quite like that before. And Boogie now on the outside knocks AM Vision down with a hard right hand. 